Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. Links in the description of the video. I'm going to run this script called time.sh. I run that and you can see that uh, it's showing you the time and date and uh, it's updating. And uh, it's going to keep on going until I press pretty much any key on my keyboard. I'll just hit the space bar and you can see that it cleared that out. If I run it again, I can hit enter and it exits. And if I keep going, I can hit G and it exits. And uh, I can hit up arrow. So basically any key you press will break out of that loop. Uh, and in this case, exit out of the program because the only thing in this program is this loop. Let's go ahead and look how this is done. So here is our script. Uh, we have a while loop. It says while one, one means true. So it is going to just continue forever. It's going to loop and loop and loop. What's it going to do? Well, it's going to use the printf command and then it's using backslash r. Backslash r is just a special character that says, hey, clear everything back to the beginning of the line. Just instead of clearing the whole screen, we're just clearing the line. And then we're going to run the date command. You know it's the date command because it's dollar sign and parentheses and in bash that's going to tell it to run this command. And instead of printing this, it's going to print the output of the command. So it's going to show you the default date and time format. It's going to do that. And then we're going to, uh, it's looping, so normally you'd use like a sleep command, but here we're using the read command. Now remember, this is bash and the read command is different in other shells. But we're saying dash t, that's the timeout. We're saying a quarter of a second. So it gives you a quarter of a second before it continues. What's it gonna say dash n1? This is saying just look for one key to be pressed and whatever is pressed is going to be put into the variable output, or sorry, <laughs> input. Uh, and then we're gonna check does input equal anything? So the read command is going to stay and wait a quarter of a second. And if you don't press anything, then that value for input is not going to be set. So here it's saying, if it is set, that's what the ampersand ampersand says, if the previous thing was true, if it exits uh, with true, we're going to then break out of this loop. Great. So if we don't press anything, this is going to time out and it's not going to equal anything and the loop's just going to continue. So it only breaks if a key was pressed. Uh, let's go ahead and add something outside the loop here. We'll just say echo, right? I'm adding that now because when we ran this earlier, if I was to press something like up arrow, uh, before it was putting our new prompt at the end of the line because we didn't have a new line character after uh, our print. So basically that just add the echo command uh, with a nothing. So it's basically like putting a new line character. So let's go ahead and run that again. I'll hit space bar and you can see it exits out. So you can do this with any command, any loop. So again, the read command with a timeout of, in this case, 0.25 seconds. You can change that to whatever you want to fit your needs. Um, and, and it's not just for loops like this. There may be times where you want user input, but if they don't put any input anything in a certain amount of time, you're gonna exit out. And then we're looking for just any one character and we're gonna put that into this variable. If the variable is set, break out. So if a key was pressed, break out. Uh, and so basically when you press a key, it's going to continue right away. If not, it's going to wait that quarter of a second. I think I'm over explaining things. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this useful. If you need a case where you want a program to run, and we're just using the basic date command. You can use something like figlet or toilet, uh, which I've gone over in the past, which do big ASCII text on the screen. So you can make yourself a big fancy clock in your terminal. And uh, yeah, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as always. I hope that you have a great day.